everybody. And if anybody uh, is not a member of ACC or this is your first meeting to attend, uh, sort of guest, if you would uh, raise your hand. Uh, we, want, we want to welcome you, especially uh, we're an environmental organization where we try to do sustainability and uh, environmental issues. We uh, are in 501c3, working on getting that uh, uh, established. Uh, and uh, we have four priorities in terms of what we're working on this year. One of them is getting the parks people that are friends of the marks together. The second one is reducing plastic. The third is climate change or uh, working to mitigate some of the things that are happening to us otherwise. And the fourth one is on monarch butterflies. So if anybody's interested in working on any of those, uh, we need to have your name so we can work with you on those. Uh, so, uh, we also have a membership which is ten dollars for new members. So if you want to become a new member, it's only ten bucks. And Marion, who's in the green shirt there, will take your membership uh, information. So we welcome everybody to be members, and uh, we welcome everybody for attending the night. Uh, we have some announcements. I think Jan Miller or Jan. Uh, uh, I've been deputized to, uh, we have a couple of things going on in May and uh, related to the, sponsored by the Friends of the Southwest Nature Preserve. The first one is this coming Monday at 6.30 and Michael Smith, who many of you may know, he is a co-author of a book on Herps in Texas, I think is the name of it. He's going to talk about your neighborhood snakes and part of the... <laughs> Um, reason he's doing this is that there have been there was a kind of a rare snake killed the other day by somebody who saw a snake in their yard and panicked and didn't know that it was harmless so anyway he's giving a talk on that on six, at 6 30 Monday at the where we usually have our programs which is the West Ar Arlington West service police service center community room so then so then later the same month, we have our regular program, which is on Tuesday, the 21st, and um, our speaker will be Heather Bass, who um, is at, affiliated with GRIT, and she's going to talk about getting native plants started uh, in, a, in a pollinator garden and how all that stuff should work to make a native habitat. So we hope you'll come out to both of those programs. I think the, the one on snakes is very much needed. With all the rain, snakes are coming out of the, the low-lying areas, the floodplains, and coming into people's yards. So we're seeing a lot more snakes, and people get panicked when they see snakes. Uh, Josephine? Yes, uh, the Native Plant Society is having a plant sale this Saturday at River mm -hmm. Legacy, 10 till 2. We have a lot of wonderful native plants and the prices are great, so you need to come and load up. Okay, thank you. And the rain is very helpful for native plants. Yes. <laughs> Any other announcements? It's Dick over here. Uh, yeah, and because of the native plant sale and its first Saturday, which is the Wildscape's usual uh, work day, we are not having a work day because many of us who work at the Wellscape, but we get the plant sale working and hopefully buying. <laughs> so please come next month on June and hopefully we'll have a really good topic there for after we work uh, for a speaker there. Okay, any other announcements? Um, I'm with the Friends of OS Gray Natural Area for those of you who don't know where that is or what it is. It's on the site of the former O.S. Gray Pecan Nursery, right down here on West Abram Street, just before you get to Bowen. We're having a work day on Saturday, May 11th, from 9 a.m. to noon, and we would invite you to come join us while we work on that natural area, and uh, we're doing native vegetation restoration. We'll be working on our um, pollinator gardens, and we're going to have a bunch of kids from Seguin High School that would enjoy having you work right alongside with them, if it's not raining. 
That's the key word. Anyone else? Okay, next we have, uh, since we have, this is sort of a historical presentation, uh, Donna Percy is going to introduce two of our special guests who are historians. Mm -hmm. We have some special guests. Tonight we have O.K. Carter, so, who I'm sure a lot of you all know or are aware of, author, journalist, uh, Arlington history buff. <coughs> Uh, we also have Geraldine Mills, the Executive Director of Arlington Historical Society. And we also have Jim Sherbeck from Downwinders at Risk. So I'm actually just pleased that we have those can they special raise, guests. Can they raise their hands so people are recognizing? <laughs> There's Geraldine, <laughs> and okay, and Jim. Okay, great. Well, I'm very excited about this presentation. Don and I, about four years ago, were looking at the tree in my neighborhood and thought it was an Indian market tree, and then we started talking about the native populations, and, and uh, we didn't know much about those, and it looks like you go to the city website and try to find something on native populations, and nothing exists. It starts with the settlers coming into Arlington, the pioneers. So we start asking around and saying, who could give a talk about what the people were like who lived here, and how long did they live, were they sustainable, and what did they do environmentally. And uh, we asked around and we found nobody. So that was about four years ago, we started start, uh, asking everybody we, we could find. And we went to one of the UTA powwow and, and found uh, a person that said that there was somebody at, at North Texas, his name was Foster Smith, that uh, he was an expert in the, in the native populations in this area. So I got a hold of Foster Smith, and he said he was incredibly busy, but then he recommended somebody, Brad Folsom, who was an expert in Spanish and Mexican Texas, and researched the Battle of Village Creek, which is a Village Creek Park area by Interlock, and, uh, and the Treaty of Birds Fort. So I got a hold of Foster Smith, and he's uh, Brad Folsom, I mean, and uh, he said he couldn't do it, but he had somebody who was... <laughs> <laughs> he said, James Black's, Black's uh, sure was the person who was most qualified to talk, and that he got most of his knowledge of Village Creek and everything from James. So I called him home James, and he said, yes, he's willing to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and we have originally talked about having a tour of Bird's Fort, which is in the Viridian development off of 157, right next to Trash Mountain. Uh, and, uh, we met with Viridian and they were amenable, uh, but they said the uh, Bird's Fort Island is being rapidly developed with uh, bridges to the island for cars and very high income homes. So I think if you look at the former Star Telegram, there was one headline that said, if you, if you want to live on an island in Arlington, go to Viridian. Uh, anyway, they're developing it. They said maybe later on in the fall we could have a tour of Bird's Fort area because they're talking about preserving that as a sort of cultural center. So, tonight we have the best person we can find. Everybody has <laughs> all the to talk to us. He has a, 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 want to do, look at his credentials, go to the ACC website. He has a PhD. Uh, he teaches at the University of North Texas and Collin College. He's written many books and articles. So I'm very happy to present James to let us know what the people were like and everything he knows about the populations and already settled in Arlington. 